What you see here is a square wave, a triangle wave oscillator. It's connected to an audio amplifier here. And this audio amplifier goes to a um, loudspeaker, that's here. And uh, via the loudspeaker, uh, the spectrum analyzer, that's here, um, receives the sounds and uh, makes the spectrum visible. The spectrum is now in the range of um, here 1k, uh, 1000 uh, hertz up to 5000 hertz, 1, 2, 3, 5000 hertz approximately. And what you see now <coughs> is that I'm talking. But I want to show uh, the effects of um, two different wave forms, uh, the square wave and the triangle wave. I put the, um, the oscillator, the generator, on the frequency and now I'm going to switch between uh, square wave and triangle wave. So I'm put up now the volume. And you can see here the um, square wave. Now I put it the uh, volume down. I'm now going to switch to the uh, triangle wave. This is a triangle wave. And what you can see here is that the triangle wave um, has no upper, almost no upper frequencies. When I put up the volume of the uh, audio amplifier, now I've put up the volume, and you can see that there's almost no. Um, upper frequencies, harmonics. With the square wave you can immediately see that there are more harmonics. So that's also the reason why uh, a square wave is unable to generate an oscillator signal for a VFO, variable frequency oscillator, in a radio. It uh, causes too much harmonics and too, too much uh, sub-frequencies.